Hi, I'm Camp Mayor Dana Ralph, and I want to say thank you for joining me for my weekly update video. I want to recap some fun things that have happened over the last few days and then give you a couple of updates, and we'll end it with some great things to look forward to. So over the weekend on Saturday, I had, ch had a chance to stop by Morrow Meadows Park, our newly uh, renovated Morrow Meadows Park for a Green Kent event. So we had a group of volunteers out that were helping us remove invasive plants, blackberries, that kind of thing in the trail area their northwest side of Morrow Meadows Park. So a great group of volunteers. They braved the heat. It was kind of warm on Saturday and really did a lot of great work there um, in that park. So I want to say thanks to Margaret and our park staff as well as all of our volunteers for that event. On Sunday, I got to spend the day out at Pacific Raceways. Technically unincorporated King County, but their address is Kent, so we are 100% gonna claim them. It was the Northwest Nationals, uh, NHRA Nationals out there. So some great racing. It had cooled down a little bit on Sunday, which meant track records were broken in, a, in quite a few categories. So perfect weather for racing. One of the th reasons why I highlight this is there's a lot of really great work going on around motorsports innovation out at Pacific Raceways. Ways. And uh, something that the city is very supportive of new businesses coming out there. And again, um, that on that innovation front and what does technology look like when it comes to motorsports? So stay tuned. Um, I'm hoping in the in the coming months, we'll have some more updates on the great work that they're doing out there. On Monday, I got to swing by Riverview Park and welcome a group of students that are here from the Stan country. So Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, a group of young women that are studying abroad through a program um, through the federal government and Green River every year hosts them for a variety of classes. One of the things that they were doing on Monday was they met with the Green River Coalition. They've been an amazing partner with the city of Kent for a lot of years on habitat and restoration on the Green River. The students were able to do a restoration project. So again, working on invasive species removal, understanding why the habitat is so important for the salmon, um, just an opportunity for them to see what it's like to work in that sort of environment and then give back to the community. So always a fun time to meet those, uh, those young women and hear about their studies. All right, on to some updates. I've got some really exciting things I want to talk about. Um, you may have seen it in the newsletter last week, but the gas station on the corner of Central and James that I know anybody that drives into downtown Kent has seen for many years, it's finally coming down. The demolition is nearly done. We've been working with this owner for years, trying to get him to take a little pride in our city, take a little pride in the property. It has been a battle. We finally ended up filing criminal charges and I really believe that that was the step that got him to move on getting this building um, torn down. So we're very excited about that demolition. The property will be being leveled out. I don't have any updates on what will be at that site, but the good news is that building is gone. We're super excited. Just across the street from that, uh, another great update. We've started the reestablishment of Mill Creek. So basically, taking out all the sediment, some places six to eight feet of settlement that has settled in that creek since we were able to do that decades ago. So it took us a very long time to get the permits from the federal government, but we've got them and the work is underway and that's really gonna significantly help with flooding during the rainy season. All right, as we are looking forward to some fantastic events, July is Parks and Recreation Month. Um, we celebrate it all month long here in the city of Kent and we have had four pop-up events on Wednesdays during the month. The last one will be coming next week and it looks like we have a pretty great guest list. Elsa, Tiana, Moana, Woody and Miles Morales all on the 31st at Van Doren's Landing. You can check out our social media and website for more details but it sounds like an absolute blast. Come and help us celebrate Parks and Rec Month. Sticking with the theme of Parks and Recreation, we are looking for Parks Commissioners. So we've got openings on our Parks Commission. We hope that you will join us. Um, opportunities include annual parks tours, the attendance of quarterly meetings so that we can provide you with information and you can provide us with critical feedback and insight into our Parks and Rec system, and then lots of volunteer opportunities. That application is available on our website. So if you're interested in helping us with our park system, we'd love to have you apply. All right, this falls under progress is painful. You all have heard me say that before. Construction on the Green River Bridge at Meeker Street will start the first part of August. This bridge needs to be painted. If you've driven over it, you know it's um, in desperate need. The work includes minor repairs, repainting, and repaving of the roadway deck. There will be lane restrictions 
and an eight week full road closure. Please sign up for um, our driving alerts to make sure that you have all the details on when that bridge is gonna be closed. Again, progress is painful. Um, I'm gonna apologize up front, but when that bridge is done, new paved deck and, and repainted, it is gonna definitely be worth it. So. Couple other summer events wanna talk about. National Night Out is coming on Tuesday, August 6th. Great opportunity to bring um, your neighbors together. We have city staff that comes out and visits, fire, police, public works employees, employees from all around the city. Our Kent Community Education Unit helps put this all together. It's not too late to sign your neighborhood up. You can learn more at kentwa.gov slash NNO. Another fun event that we have coming up is Experience Historical Kent, and that's on August 9th and 10th. You can explore the many parts of Kent's history that maybe you didn't know so much about. On Friday, August 9th, you can register for a walking tour of historic downtown, and then you can stop by Kersome Park for a screening of The Boys in the Boat Under the Stars, so the movie about the UW rowing team. We're gonna show that there in the park. If you haven't been to Kersome Park for a movie, strongly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Bring your blanket, bring a picnic, and hang out with us and watch the movie. You can stop by the Historical Society Museum on Saturday. There's gonna be performances, activities, food, and a historic fashion show. So lots going on. For the walking tour registration, you can go to kenthistoricalmuseum.org and see all of those great events. Just a reminder, our farmer's market continues through September 15th, every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. It runs between Smith and Gow um, at Town Square Plaza. More information on that at Kent Farmer's Market. Market.com, and that's a collaboration between our Lions Club and Living Well Kent. So lots of great fresh vegetables, flowers, crafts, those kinds of things. Perfect way to spend a Saturday morning. Final update I have for you is Cajun Fest is coming back again this year. Kent Downtown Partnership does a fabulous job with this event. It's happening Saturday, August 17th from 2 to 7 p.m. at Burlington Green Park. And you can check out the KDP website for more information. So as you can see, summer is in full swing. We've had some beautiful weather, um, lots of things going on around our city. I hope you're taking time to enjoy and um, we'll see you next time.